Y'all would have been trash in the dream. They should have been trash in the dream, man. Because it was a winning effort from the entire team. No shitting on Mitchell or Boston or, or Smith. Nobody else except for Wheeler. We're going to shit on you, Wheeler, just a little bit. Because I gave you all them props last video. I gave you all them props. And you go out there and do that to me. You go out there and make me look like that. I was like, yo, Wheeler, she, she got a nice jump shot. She wet. No, she not. She not wet at all. Well, I don't go there. Don't go there, Chocolate. Don't go there. Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy, Chocolate with the Sexy Body, and welcome to a new episode of Chocolate. It plays reaction videos. You know why we here. I don't have to tell y'all no more. We here for Devontae. That's who we here for. Dev Devontae is who we here for. Nah, I'm playing. We're here for Kaitlyn. We're here for Kaitlyn Clark. Yo, it's game day. It's game day, baby. Yo, this is the third round, third round matchup between Kayla Clark and Angel Reese. Who y'all got? Who y'all rooting for? We rooting for Caitlyn. That's what we rooting for, baby. Look, it's a road game. But I bet you that bitch gonna feel like a home game because you know how many fans show up to the Caitlyn Clark games. Look, how many of y'all watched this last game? I'm sorry I didn't do a video yesterday. Your boy was feeling under the weather, but we did do a live for the, uh, the the Fever versus Dream. I, everybody who made it out to that live, I thank y'all so much for being there. Um, y'all can't go back and watch it because it got a copyright hit. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I didn't get in trouble. Just the video can't be seen by nobody. You can't, it's, it's, it's done. It's dead. Nobody knows what happened, but it was a fun time for everybody that was there. I got to try to figure out a way to play these games without getting caught. Because <laughs> we got to be there and see it together. But guys, great game, great game. Look, the score that y'all seen, I think it was 91 to 79. It shouldn't have been that damn close. They was up by damn near 18 points on his team. Now, they, they could have ran the table on them. But coach sides, right? Look, the, 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 the fever had two people going against them. They had the refs and coach sides. The damn, the dream shot 35 free throws. 35 free throws. You want to know how many the fever shot? 11. They shot 11, 11 to 35, and them bitches was 31 for 35 from free throw. Do you understand how tough that is uh, for a team to go and score 31 points off of free throws? They kept The refs kept them in the game. Every time they come down, like they were banging to the paint. The dream would go into the paint. They'd drive the paint, and they'd call a damn foul. They was calling a foul every time they came down court. It was ridiculous. And you know who didn't say shit about it? Coach sides. Her ass just sat there and watched it happen. She sat there and watched it happen. She could have, I was hoping she would have got a tech for screaming at the referees, for letting this bullshit happen like that. But she just kept it going. She, you know, I ain't never seen a mother. I ain't seen. He's going to blow. Fuck it. I ain't never seen a motherfucker sabotage their team like this lady before. I've never seen no shit like this when you have the best opportunity that anybody has ever had in a league that has never been anything until now, about two years ago. Give Asia Wilson her props. That's why she's winning in the All-Star race. Give Angel Wilson her props because it started getting good with Angel Wilson. And now it's way damn better with Kaitlyn Clark coming into the building. It's better with Kaitlyn Clark coming into the building. How are you screwing this opportunity up to have your team be the best right now? The Fever are, are they even won championship before. They won a championship, I believe back in 15 or maybe 2012, it don't matter, but they won one. So they have a winning, a winning franchise. And now you have the winning player, the winningest player, records wise. You got Boston from last year, rookie. She's with South Carolina. She has a national championship. Look, guys, these, this lady has the best opportunity to take over the WNBA right now. But you know what her problem is? She is acting just like all those other women who were throwing shade at Caitlyn. Even your coach is feeling like them. Even your teammates is feeling like them. So all this shit that she got to deal with, which she shouldn't have to. Which you shouldn't have to. At what point are you guys going to say the hell with this? We're winning right now. Let's keep this shit going. But man, let's make her what she's supposed to be. 
Y'all would have been trash in the dream. They should have been trash in the dream, man. Because it was a winning effort from the entire team. No shitting on Mitchell or Boston or, or Smith. Nobody else except for Wheeler. We're going to shit on you, Wheeler, just a little bit. Because I gave you all them props last video. I gave you all them props. And you go out there and do that to me. You go out there and make me look like that. I was like, yo, Wheeler, she, she got a nice jump shot. She wet. No, she not. She not wet at all. Well, I... Don't go there. Don't go there, Chocolate. Don't go there. But um, she her jump is not wet. It ain't wet. And her layup skills are are uh, uh, they, uh, that's what they is. They don't even got a number. I got I, I can attach to it. It's just a the throw up sound. That's what I think about Wheeler really when I see her drive to the glass. I swear. Every time I see her drive, I'm like, please pass it. You can be wide open. Pass the ball. I don't care. You gonna miss the layup. Go back and look at the, the tape, coach. I know you see this girl missing wide open layups at the glass because she keep aiming for the rim. Use the backboard. I'm not going to tell you no more to do that, Wheeler. You're making me mad. You took your Ritalin last game and you calmed down. Everything is straight and you was good. You was you were not there like a deer or like a, like a dog in headlights. You were not there. But nevertheless, you still was out there messing up. But. Not messing up in a way that didn't keep your team where it was. Because, hey, even Mitchell Mitchell was out there balling, too. I think she was 3 for 4 for three-point line. Look, Caitlin shot 50% for that game. 6 for 12 from the field, 4 for 8 from 3. 16 points, 7 assists. I think she had like 5 rebounds, I think. I can't remember. She's doing it. She's balling. Her defensive skills have gotten way better. Way better to the fact that Coach Sides is trusting her in the game in the fourth quarter. But this is what she's also doing, right? Because she's just, she's just making the, the fans happy by keeping her on the floor. She's making the GM happy by keeping her on the floor. She's making everybody, the investors, right, the, st the stakeholders. She's making all of them happy by keeping Caitlin on the floor. But she icing her out by keeping two guards out there with her. What the hell are you doing? What, why is Wheeler and Mitchell in the game with Caitlin at any time? At any time. It doesn't make any sense to me for you to have three guards out there like that. Like, even, even when you ran Wallace, I think it would be a better lineup, right? Listen, listen to me. I think it would be a better lineup before Timmy comes back. We have no idea. She got a foot injury. And... If you know what I know about foot injuries, I think you should go see a specialist. Go talk to the people in the NBA about foot injuries. Go talk to NBA players. Go find Yao Mean and them and Gaskas because they had foot injuries that took them out. T big, tall players, that big frame, right? It pushes down on that foot, causing terrible foot injuries that they seem to don't ever heal right. So you got to get ahead of this right now, uh, Timmy, or it's going to be worse than what you expect it to be. I'm telling you. Because this team needs you. I went back and looked at the team's production with you, right? With the way the team is clicking right now, you can be inserted, right, into either the starting lineup. Um, yeah, I say starting lineup. But because until you come back, I will run this. I would run Lexi. I would run Lexi at um, small forward. I will run Kalen at point. I will run Mitchell at shooting guard. Smith, Smith could be my center for right now. Boston be my power forward. That's the lineup that I would have. Don't try to be like the NBA, WNBA. I ain't there yet where the NBA is out there running uh, a lineup uh, with no centers. That's it's ignorant. You can't do that in women's basketball. Do you see what happened with, with people like Cardosa and people like Brianna Stewart? How tall they are. You're not getting rebounds over those girls. They just can hold their hands up and take the balls out the sky. Take the balls out the sky. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, that's this is what these girls are capable of. So you need, I kept saying, I like, man, the, the fever need a big body. They need a big body to come up in there, man. So I kept rooting for Liz. But Timmy, I don't know. I don't know what the foot injury. They really need you on this team. Caitlin needs you on this team. Right? Because as far as I'm concerned, there's going to be have to be some moments where Caitlin is going to have to mamba mentality. White Mamba, what we going to call her? You got the Black Mamba and Kobe. We got White Mamba over there with her. I'm going to give that what y'all That's her nickname for her. White Mamba. You're going to have to tap into your Kobe mentality. Right? And break. I'm just going to go out there and shoot the hell with it. I'll find you if you're open. I'll get the ball to you if you're scoring. That's what Kobe was like. I'll pass to you if you're going to score this hoe. Don't be expecting the ball wheeler. You're out there missing wide open layups. Don't do it. Boston, she see you every time. She see you every time. Kaylin. One of those times I saw you though, you ain't don't bounce pass it. Throw it up high for her. 
because it, it, it bounced off of, of, of the feet. But she was already cut to the glass, so she should have hit her in stride, right? Or just work on that shit together and get it better. I know you probably be throwing it low because you're trying to stop the defender from trying to reach out and get it. But hell, hit her in the chest. She right there. It's, it's okay, Kayla. Like, it is okay. This is the time to work this out because in this game right here is coming up, right? In this game, like I, I told you, it's a road game, but it's still going to feel like a home game. Did y'all see all the, the fans at the in Atlanta out there for Kaitlyn and the Fever? Do y'all understand that when Kaitlyn missed jump shots in other people's stadiums, you hear, oh, straight up. Now, you finna go, I feel like you're going to go in hostile territory, though, because the way that these Angel Reese people try to get behind her and support her, watch. This is going to be the second watch, most watched game in WNBA history, if not the most, because people want to see, people want to see this, this rivalry. People want to see this rematch, especially since Angel dropped. She had 18 rebounds last game and 16 points or some shit like that. She had a double-double. She's got the most double-doubles in the WNBA. She broke a record. For rookies. So I'm telling y'all, this, this shit is closer than people think. But Kayla can pull away as soon as a coach let her be Kaitlyn. Coach, coach Sizes got to let Kaitlyn be Kaitlyn. Let her get out there and buy her. I'm sick of this shit that you get doing with her. Coach Sizes, it don't make no damn sense. Now is not the time to be experimented, especially not going into the, the, the sky, into Chicago. And if anybody should be watched on that team, on the sky, it's Macrobie. Is that how you know? Macrobie? I don't know. I'll put it somewhere in this shit. I'll spell it out if I didn't spell it right, if I didn't say it right. But she's nice. She's nice. She's, I, she's the, I, she has to be the leading scorer on that team over the past three games. And outside of her, as much as y'all don't like Kennedy for her crazy ass, she's pretty good too. <laughs> she's pretty good. So understand what I'm saying. You got a team over there with two pretty good players and a Ricky over there that's dominating right now on the boards, even though she's getting all her own shots, <laughs> back rebounds, but she's still getting them. She Ain't nobody else getting them. Uh, you got to give her. Look, I see the beauty in everything. Yeah, she's missing her shots, but she also stopping everybody from getting the damn rebound. So until y'all can stop her, uh, there really ain't nothing we can say. So she out there doing it. So they got a team. They got a pretty good team over there. But the Fever got a better team. And that needs to be on display tonight. Coach Size is not, this is not the time to be out that damn game experimenting. Yo ass need to focus on getting Caitlin, getting Caitlin the ball so she can run the plays. It has to go through her. You don't put your quarterback in the game and run all the plays through your running back, do you? I ain't never seen that shit before. What's this, a Wildcat offense you over there playing, Coach Sides? Because if that's what you're doing, we've got to get your ass up out of here. The Wildcat died when, when Kyler Kaepernick uh, started kneeling. That's when the Wildcat was no more. Niggas, Wildcat, people don't do no that stupid shit. We stopped that a long time ago. All that Wildcat offense, it, it died. It died with Colin Kaepernick. You need to switch over to the Tom Brady method, the Tom Brady formula. That's why Patrick Mahomes is what he is right now. Y'all do understand that the way Andy Chief, I'm uh, Andy Chief, Andy Reid runs his team is the exact same way he ran his team in Philly. That's why he went and got a player like Michael Vick. Y'all get it? That's why he went and got a Michael Vick. That's why he went and got a Patrick Mahomes. Somebody with a rocket arm. Do y'all understand? Michael Vick could chunk that bitch like 60 yards. Michael Vick could throw that damn ball. So can Mahomes. Vick was elusive and run off on your ass. So does Patrick Mahomes. They went and got the best player to fit their team. Indiana didn't do that. They just went and got the best player because they knew that it was going to make them a lot of money in the long run. They didn't go get the player that fit their needs. They just went and got the best player. Now, they have to figure out a way to play around her, and they don't want to. They wanted to be Mitchell. Mitchell was an all-star last year, I believe. I don't know. I got to go back and check it. But if she wasn't, she was damn good on that team. And I heard that she's the fourth highest paid person in the WNBA. So understand this. Whenever you have the best player on the team meet the next best player coming to the team, it's always going to be friction. If you played college anything, college, if you use college athletics, in college, you meet the number one players or number two, number three, whatever. From around the, the, the United States. This guy might be in, been number one in Florida. This guy over here is number one 
in Kansas and they didn't met in Florida to play together. Did I say Florida to begin with? Bruh. 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 I don't fucking know. Let's try it again. You got the number one player in Georgia and the number one player in Kansas. And they meet to play in Texas. And now you got the two number one players from day regions. It's a battle, guys. But in this case, it don't need to be. Because when Caitlyn is on, she's on. When she's off, she's still on. But the coach won't let her turn it on. You have to let a shooter shoot. She's a shooter. You cannot put a cap on these players. You know what this looks like? This looks like... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna write this up. I'm 12 minutes. Oh shit! Uh, I had to stop the tape and redo it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This looks like Golden State. Somebody brought this up, and you know what? Shout out to all of the people out there hitting hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, hitting the comment button. Everybody's in the comments going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. It's crazy. But one of the commenters, right? One of one of the subscribers brought up Golden State with Monte Ellis and uh, Curry. Right? And this is the same scenario. This is the same scenario. Even down all the way down to the Mark Jackson. Right? Curry wasn't allowed to be Curry with Monty Ellis being there. Monty Ellis had to take a step back, let Curry be Curry. And when he finally did, you saw what happened to the team. When the team started to mold and jail, right? Mark Jackson was in, in the helm. He was the coach. He got fired. <laughs> and they bring in Steve Kerr. And Steve Kerr just took this nice, shiny ass uh, toy that somebody just, they, it's brand new. It's brand new. And they handed it to Mark Jackson, right? But then they let Steve Kerr open it. This is going to happen to you, Coach Size, if you don't get your shit together. Because that team is nice. Watch when Timmy comes back, how she fits into this, this scheme. The scheme needs to run around Kalen. Do not fuck this up. Guys, thank y'all. Thank y'all for being here, for tuning in, man. Every, uh, look, look, we had a thousand subs, guys. We had a thousand subs. I got to do a thousand sub video. It's coming. And it's all due to y'all guys. All the love and support that y'all have given me. Look, if I cry on this video that I'm going to do, don't y'all make fun of me. <laughs> don't y'all make fun of me. Because I'm, I'm I'm, an emotional person. You know what I'm saying? At heart. But I'm also a tooth chipper too. So don't fuck with me. Don't try me. Anyway, guys, that's my time. I'm going to get off this thing. I appreciate every one of y'all. Game day, baby. It's going to come on at three. I'm going to try to get this video out there way before it does, man. Just give your boy some time. I... Busy, 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 busy beat. You guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, like I said, if you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy drop videos. Videos. Guys, y'all take care. Peace. Go Caitlin. And Devontae. For Devontae gonna be back with the... Uh, I, I, I found it. I found him a, 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 a Caitlin Clark jersey. Devontae gonna wear that mug. My stuff is on back order, though. Everybody bought everything. <laughs> Peace. Thank you.